all of that being said, I showed you guys Trillo. Let me show you guys a little bit in the planner. And then I'll give you guys um, the next uh, day or so to comment anything that you guys extra would like to see. And then I will share that on our Wednesday video. So we'll go to March. You hold it down you put open link. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, why is it not opening? It's already open. Duh, it's March. Sorry, guys. So once you open it, okay, let's go back. You open link is going to go to the month. Then you have these four boxes here at the, um, excuse my son, you guys. Um, the four boxes right here in your corner. You're going to hit the four boxes. And here's all your pages. So you'll go to the uh, next week. So here I have started already um, adding some stickers, planning out for the week. Um, so then what I do is on the tablet, you guys, I, um, let me close this out real quick. So I have OneDrive. And for those of you guys who are part of the group, um, at one point I was sharing with all you guys the digital stickers, those who are on the team. And then that kind of faded because when you don't see a lot of people using the stickers or different things, then, you know, I feel like, well, if nobody's using it, why share it? That's extra things, extra tasks. Um, but so these are the stickers. So for on the tablet, so let me show that again. I open up the app. And to split screen, you can slide up and then, oops, you open it, slide up, you hold down the one you want to split screen, slide it over, and then now you have two screens. Now, I don't need it to be that big, but so that you guys can see. So these are a lot of this is all stickers, um, digital stickers that I have, um, some that I've turned into kits for the group and shared in the group um, all of our beautiful boxes let me show you guys so these were all the hundred boxes and each of these is a different color here I'll make it bigger so you guys can see so this is like mint green can y'all see that okay and these are all the different stickers. These are all digital stickers. And then I use these stickers to make kits. So you have meetings. You have your trackers. If you're taking classes. If your work time. My mom used these faithfully. She has every color. Um, your transactions or savings or spending throughout the day. You have some glitter boxes. It's, it's, it's nice, you guys. I have a lot of stuff here. Uh, wait, this is another green. So let's do a red. So you guys can see so this is some boxes you guys will see definitely in my planner if not today you will see it on Wednesday and you see how this is when I say I turn them into um, stickers so my mom like I said my mom uses these faithfully to keep track of her work um, so I print I make her a, a sticker sheet I print it and I cut it for her and that's off of the boxes so you know, I have it in yellow that's already made so of course tr she changes her colors out depending on the seasons but every color you guys you see that every color I have a hundred of these and each um, um, color has the same set of stickers so really really nice you guys um it is our birthday month so you guys remember when i did the birthday stickers so that's these so here i have some more these are kits that were made and then these are the digital stickers that you guys will see in my planner okay so I wanted you guys to see that real quick. So it's a lot of stickers. So those who of you guys who are digital planners um, 
and we'll need some stick digital stickers that will be launching really really soon but you can always reach out to me you guys if you guys don't see something or need something let me know okay um so for example let's go back um to march so i can show you guys real quick how um sometimes for my planner i don't know if everybody has this issue but i do sometimes when the screen is split it doesn't open really good uh, so let's go to the celebrate stickers and i'm going to scroll down you guys know um you guys comment happy birthday sip um our birthday will be two years old on um the 30th so these are just some celebration new year stickers that we used so say for example i want this um cupcake so i hold it down and then i just drop it over um to our page to my planner i make it smaller and i can put it right here and if you want to um, zoom in, you just hold it so that, make, so that you can see the box clearer. Can you see that? So then when you um, shrink your images to fit, so we can do that. And then maybe I want to add, let's see, we'll do a firework. We'll do a, a silver one and we'll do a pink one. Or we'll move the pink one. Oops. And we'll put the pink one. You just hold it down and click edit. So that way you can move it. So now my 30th has some fireworks and a cupcake. So I know that it's my our birthday. Okay. How cute is that, you guys? I love it. Okay. Then we're going to go back to our page. So here I put some um, dates up here. So if you guys see that normally it looks dated like this. So you have the dates at the top. So I changed mine using my March setup. So again, I just open up my OneDrive, go down to March. And you guys, I'm this is going to be a task this week that I do. I'm going to go through all my files, reorganize because I have everything everywhere. So these are some sticker kits. You guys, look. Let me open it again. Let's see if it's going to open. Oh, it was still trying to process. So this was March sticker kit. This is one I printed out for my mom for March for her to use in her planner. And it has like the different things on it. Um, it takes a little while to upload. Yeah, see it's still uploading. So this was March. Super cute. So I take the digital stickers, make them into a kit, and then I print them out. So these are all kits for March and April that um, I made. But then here's are all these are all the digital stickers. How pretty! Can y'all see all of those? If you washer and dryer, payday, if you're doing Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, which was awesome. YouTube, you guys, there's YouTube. Um, so that way I know what we're doing. Then if you just want the days of the week. So there's lots of stuff, you guys. Lots and lots and lots of stuff to choose from. So we're going to go back. We're going to open up. So then I want to start adding in the, I'm just going to do a few more stickers so that you guys can see. So I open it up 
go down to March. Oops, March stickers. And again, because I don't, I have so much that I need to put in there, as you guys can see. So I'm not going to add too, too much. So maybe, let's see what to add, you guys. Something simple. Well, let me show you guys the numbers. So this comes with numbers too. And then I'll show you guys. I think these are the numbers here. Yeah, that's 31. So when you go down, let's see. Yeah, that's seven. So let me delete this, delete, delete. So we're gonna go, I think this is eight. Yeah, eight, ninth. So again, I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit um, so these are some of the numbers. So then again, I showed you guys, I like to, oops. Or maybe instead of waiting till Wednesday, you guys, I will show you guys, I will post another video on Monday, tomorrow. So I zoom in, it makes it easier for me, you guys, you don't have to do that. You hold this image down, you hit edit. You shrink the number down to fit inside your little circle. You make it the size that works best for you. Oops. So 10, okay, so then now you have your numbers. Now, so the things that you guys have been waiting for is how does Angela write all this stuff in? So as you guys can see here, it says book club, Bible study basics, um, book record, book record. These are like the key um, highlight things for me. So for me, you guys, my, um, I don't know, I have, I do not have an Apple stylus. Uh, I'm definitely going to be investing in one. If anybody wants to gift me one, that would be awesome too, but I'm kidding. <laughs> I am going to be investing in a Apple pen. I hear that the Apple pens work so much better than these other pens. It feels like writing on paper. And so because I don't like the way that writes i'm going to show you guys how i um, input information so the first thing here you guys is going to be the book club so you hold just hold down an area and you hit text and it's going to give you a box down here you can see it gives you like your style the type of wording you guys want to use um, it gives you some options here I like everything. I like the career new. That's just me. You can use whatever you like. Um, I do have a keyboard. It makes it easier for typing for me. If you don't, you can use the screen here. But so the first thing is book club. So I'm going to put book. Um, book club. And then I just shrink. Oops. I shrink down the box and if I want the it to be bigger you just hit the size and we can go um, 64 but you just have to readjust it and then say I want to book club but you see I see book club is a little bit too big so then I'm going to go maybe 48. 48 is still too big. So let's go 36. There we go. 36 works. So then I put book club. Now because I have everything color coded a certain way. So here I have because these go with Zoom days. So I have book club. You're going to edit. 
and then I'm gonna go down here to style the text color I'm going to go to blue so then that's book club and then I go over again now I can just copy it so if you go to edit hold it down again over right here copy Oh, it's not doing it, you guys. Let's see. Oh. Let's do text. So we'll just do text. It's not copying and pasting for some reason. Um, so you do book club, and then the next thing is Bible study um, basics. Oops. So then I shrink it down and so of course it's going to be too big so we'll go down to 24 okay so then that's Bible study basics then we do the next one we want text and then this one is um, bulk record day so then I put bulk record now this is a different color so one i'm going to make it bigger so we can do 48 and then i want to change the color to red because that's for youtube oh and that's a little bit too big so 36 yeah 36 book record and then if you want to add images you guys so here um, say you want to import or add a image and then maybe it's in your photos then you can scroll through and see if you have um, a photo here so here's my um, YouTube video so then I can make it smaller You can turn it sideways, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna make some space here. Slide my wording over like that. So you see, it looks like that. Um, I also have a zoom. So again, you just hit the plus sign. You're gonna hit image. If it's in your photos or your camera, you just click it. So here's zoom. slide it over a little bit okay so you see how that goes if I wanted to add one here also so you hit edit you can um, oh you're gonna enter a new one so image photos find your photo that you're using and again that's why I say it's for me I like to make it bigger so I can see because looking at it from far away you may not be able to see the room that you have to make the images or stickers so then there's my zoom so that is how I do that okay so we're gonna get into Monday's planning this is where I start to use a lot of those color boxes that you saw so I'm going to use some pink ones to kind of go with the color scheme so these I want to let's see which ones I want to use okay so just to be able to set the time for the block I'm gonna use this pink one I 
So again, I'm just going to show you guys Monday. And then I will do another video to show you guys what it looks like completed. So because the boxes like don't fit perfectly, I tried to make this side I, to make them small enough. Because I want it to fit in that little space. So it does take some time to just play around with it. Kind of to see the kind of the design you want. So I have Monday. Um, the first block. So again, remember I told you I have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So we're going to do three of this color. And then we'll do... Let's see, maybe a green. Let's do a green color. Maybe this olive green. No. Well, I guess I do like that other green. Let's see what other colors we have. Or this, this one, we'll do this one. Okay, so I just want the plain box, so I'm going to do three of those and drag it over, and then we'll come back to the boxes. Oops. So I'm going to edit and move it out the way first. Okay, so now I can see so it's pretty good to pre-design and again it depends on how much you're doing if you're not doing too much the time doesn't take that long But if you like things a certain way or color coded, it may take some time. So I'm gonna move these down. And it just gets some getting used to. I know for me it is. So if you guys have been digital planning longer than I have, this is actually my... I bought this for New Year's, but I haven't really been using it too, too much. Been still trying to play with it, try to see how to use digital stickers and things to design it. I and mean, then just trying to figure out how to kind of mirror how I was using my big happy planner into this little planner. And you guys see why it's good to be, I like the fact that you can zoom in because I can't see you guys really. And if you're not a super perfectionist, like it has to touch the lines a certain way, it has to be perfect. So now it looks like this. So I have my times, um, my box is ready. So then now I just hit a text. And then my first time block is, well, let's first do the wake up. So wake up is at 4.30.
AM and I'm going to change the color of this to pink and if you want to make it bold you can I just shrink it makes it easier to put in the box Oops. And that's a little too big, so I'll drop it down to 24. So 4.30 a.m. And then do another text box. So my next block is from 5 to 7 a.m. And this one is going to be... Oh, I just put them all in black. <laughs> I put all the times in black, guys. And that's because everything else is color-coded. So I bring this down. And of course, you know, it's too big, so we'll do 14. And it fits right there. Then I do another text box. The next box is 7.30 to 9 a.m. and if you guys have blocks scheduled with me before then you guys know that these are just my time blocks and then everything is broken down into these time boxes so the next one is 9 30 to 2 30 Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's go back. I was typing Sunday. Monday is different. It's 5 to 8 a.m. And you can use this a little eraser if you get little dots. So then it's... Eight thirty to ten thirty. Actually, we're going to change this to 10 a.m. Because normally that's when my, on, sun, on Mondays, that's his time for school. He has a late start. So the bus comes at 9.30. So by the time I get back to the house, get a little situated, it's almost 10. And then that means this one box will start from... Ten thirty to twelve thirty. Oh, I'm sorry. It'll be from ten thirty until one thirty PM. So it's the afternoon. And then you do another box and then this one it starts from 2 2 to 330 
And this one is a short box. Only because this is the time right before my son comes home. So I try to wrap up as much as I can during that time. And then the next box is 430. I'm sorry, four, four to six thirty. And then my last box is seven. Seven to ten PM That's my last box and then remember my little sleep My little sleep image so I will zoom in. And then I do another text box and then I try to be asleep by 11 to 4.30 a.m. So that's like what five hours of sleep and it just depends you guys if I finish things early during this time right here I may lay down ahead of time but that's my ideal sleep time all right so can you guys see that hope you guys can see that okay so this is how I block down for the day and then the next thing I do is I start filling in things. So again, this video is going to be two parts. So this is part one. So this just gives you the setup and the idea of how I start using the text. I don't write in it because this pen that I have, um, the stylus, where'd it go? Oh, sorry guys. So this stylus I got from Amazon it works but it doesn't write nicely so let me show you guys so i mean it writes okay but not to my not to my liking let me move my my text back and moved away So even if I zoomed in, so if I put here, um, sorry guys, I write sideways. If I wanted to put Devon, his, you change the pen color and he's normally green. And I can put Devon. wake up so I mean it writes okay but it doesn't I don't I don't like the way it looks just depends it is you it is doable you can use the pen well this one but I'm definitely going to invest in a Apple pen see if there's a difference but I like the way the typing looks it looks um, clean more um, you know able to read looks organized um, and everything so that is how I first set up and then I will start filling in so video two you guys will get to see all this nice planning stuff put into the planner I do every day of the week like this I put my time blocks and then I will um, share it with you guys what my planner looks like 
for the entire week on here and then what it looks like on Trillo. So stay tuned, you guys, for part two. I know this video is super, super long, um, but of course, showing all the everything, uh, what the planner can do, all the functions, how I use digital stickers and everything. It's a process. So this being the first video um, back to planning with me, I wanted to make sure that I shared everything with you guys as much as possible and then also share um, how I still continue to use block scheduling for my digital planner and now incorporating Trillo. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything you wanna see in the next plan with me um, video, please share, share, share your comments down below. Let me know and I will share it with you guys, all right? So talk to you guys um, soon, bye.